Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Enter the Atmosphere. This week we have an exciting show with a very special guest, plus another edition of ETA Masterclass. That will hopefully, once and for all, demystify the process of making stems and Pro Tools specifically for Dolby Atmospheres. But before we get into all that, I got a bit of housekeeping to do and some shout outs to some special people. First up, special thanks to Doug Simpson for hooking us up with Sennheiser. They loaned us this new Sennheiser Profile USB mic to check out, and it's, it's pretty amazing. I like it. It's rocking. Thank you guys very much. Also, the stand that's holding this mic is made by another killer company called Triad Orbit. Now, we've got Triad products throughout our entire studio, and I'm telling you, the quality of this stuff is off the chain. We couldn't function without Triad hardware. So if you need to stick something somewhere, they got you covered. And last but not least, I want to shout out to Odyssey. Their Manny Maraquin MM500s have literally changed my mixing life. I use these headphones on every mix. And when it comes time for that final QC run through, man, there's, there's nothing I trust on mixes too besides these bad boys right here. So if you're interested in a pair, I also recommend the Moon Audio Black Dragon cables. You can get the headphones and the cables from moon-audio.com. And these things are amazingly neutral and accurate. So if you're mixing for a living, especially in Atmos, MM500 with this cable. It's a no-brainer. Get you a pair. You'll thank me. I promise. All right, kids. Got all that covered. So let's get to it. Do it. Hello, I'm Kirstie Krause with Enter the Atmosphere, and I've got a question for you. If you're trying to learn how to play the piano, would you go to a mechanic? No, I don't think so. I mean, why would you do that? So if you're curious about wanting to learn more about mixing and mastering in Dolby Atmos, you're at the right place. Let me tell you a little bit about our host, Jeff Huskins. He's been producing and mixing songs in Nashville for over 30 years. He has personally been involved in the sale of over 110 million records worldwide. Yes, you heard me correctly, 110 million records worldwide. Jeff was introduced to Dolby Atmos back in 2015 and started construction on his first studio in 2019. Since then, he has built two more rooms with the latest located right here at BMG Nashville. And it is appropriately titled BMG Studio A. In short time, Jeff has mixed and mastered over 2,500 songs in Dolby Atmos with hundreds of A-list artists. And here is just a small sample of Jeff's work. Laney Wilson, Mammoth WVH, Stone Cold Country, Featuring Marcus King, Brothers Osborne, Eric Church, Ashley McBride, L.B. Shane, Marin Morris, L. King, Little Big Town, Brooks and Dunn, and Laney Wilson. And more from Jason Aldean, Waterparks, Colby Cooper, Eric Church, Ashley McBride, Fit for a King, Leslie Jordan, Blanco Brown, and Locash, Hollywood Undead, Eric Church, Pimbata, Frank Ray, John Wolfe, Tyler Farr, Hunter Girl, Madeline Merlo, King Calloway, Ambar Lucid, Jordan Harvey, Parmalee, Jason Aldean featuring Carrie Underwood, Brooke Eden, Locash, Jelly Roll, Papa Roach, The Front Men, Ashley McBride, and that's just to name a few. Now get ready for an episode of ETA Masterclass with Jeff Huskins. Hey guys, welcome to ETA Masterclass. This is all about stems. This is not only for the Atmos mixer, but this is also for the two mixer. I'm gonna try to demystify this and show you exactly how to do this to where you're not spending hours and hours and hours making extra stems from your normal ones you have to make for the labels. This will make the Atmos guys love you and uh, the, the, all the A&R people love you as well. So let's go to Pro Tools and I'm gonna show you exactly what you gotta do. Let's check it out. Okay guys, all right. I'm gonna use my template that I use to mix with just to make it easy. Um, and it's got some complicated stuff in there and, and guys get way more complicated than this. And um, But I'm gonna show you just how simple this can be. First, I'm gonna go through 
a real quick version of my layout and just so you get an idea of what it is. We'll start left and go right. Everything here in blue, that's drums. Um, and I've got some, some plug-ins, just a few little things that, that are on there. All the drums are leading into this first subgroup, which is called Drum Sub. Um, on that Drum Sub, I've got a, an EQ, some compression, yada, yada, yada. Right next to it, I've got another aux send, and that's called Slam, and that's a um, parallel compression, okay? I got a D verb, which is drum verb, and a, another T verb, which is my tom verb. Those are there. Then next up is bass. It's got some plugins that I normally use. Um, next up is acoustic guitars. So those are going to a subgroup here that's called ACG Sub. I've got a little AC verb on the side. Then comes in some keyboards. We just got a B3 in here right now. Um, and then I got an electric guitar with, with an aux attached to it that's got a delay uh, panned opposite directions. Um, another version of the same thing. And then if you're in Nashville, I got a steel guitar ready to go. And then we'll stop right there. Okay, so all those things that I just talked about, starting back with the drums, all the drums come into the drum sub. And then off of that, I'm kicking into the slam. All this stuff is going all the way downtown here to a drum master. And that's kicking into my two bus which kicks into my my um, my master and my two bus. And then that I use, I have print tracks coming off of that. So that's, in a nutshell, how that works up to there. Then we get into the vocals. This is like if I have like three different vocals. Some people like to sing verses and chop it up and do whatever. Anyways, it all feeds in. Um, then I'm, if you have a double or something like that, then I have background vocals. And granted, this can be a ton more depending on the, the kind of song. Pop songs, it will be a ton more. But then they all feed into this thing I call pop vocal that's got all my little setups with sends to all my different effects. Same thing with the harmony vocals. Everything comes in here and goes to all this stuff and then that goes out to these as well. These are all aux ends with reverbs, uh, delays, uh, you know, throws. Long reverb tails, different things, just stuff. So I got it's all there at my, you know, handy, ready to go. Then all this, the whole nine yards, comes down into into four aux ends: drum master, an instrument master, a vocal master, and effect master. Those all come out. They go into the two bus. The two bus comes out. There you go. So that's my normal two mix. Now, if I'm going to take this and, and let's say I'm, I'm getting ready to mix this song in Atmos, let me show you what I do first. Take all that stuff right there and just hide it. You don't need it. Okay, now, what I've got here is all the drums going into a sub, slam, verbs, all this stuff. This is ridiculously easy of what I'm fixing to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down Click one, hold down shift. Once you get them all highlighted, then you're going to come in here, you're going to right click. Okay. You're going to hit commit. This is important to pay attention here. All the select tracks, all the tracks can be consolidated. That's fine. Render automation. You want to click volume and mute. That way, all the automation is written in. And the pan, that'll make every single track stereo, which is fine. When you're done, just make them hide and make it active. Now you hit OK. Boom. And I have no content in the timeline. But when you do that, what will happen is, is everything will come back. Everything's at zero. Everything's got automation all written into it. All the EQs and compressions and all your doodads have all been printed to the individual tracks. And then you've also got your subgroups. So when I'm getting ready to turn this in, to the Atmos mixer, um, I'll send them all the individual tracks, kick, snare, hi-hat, blah, 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 all that stuff, all committed with all the plugins. And I'll send them the drum sub, which is the sub of all those. So in case they want to use that, they can. I'll send them the, the, the slam, which is the, the parallel compression version. 
and then the reverbs will print. They'll be separate, so they can put those anywhere. Same thing with bass. Same thing with acoustic. You got them individually, or you have them in a sub, all the way down through here. And then you get to your vocals. You have them individually, which would be these would be dry, except for the EQ and things that you do in here, which I don't do any in there. I do it all in the sub. So you'd have a dry vocal. Um, usually I'll put tuning or something like that over here individually, but you know, and not put that on the main aux for my vocal. Um, then when you print this, this this pop where it says pop vocal, that'll be a copy of all your lead vocals, one track, all ready to go. So it'll be dry, okay? Then you get your harmony vocals, same thing, by printing like this. Then all of your verbs and everything that uses effects for, for vocals is all going to be here to the right, and it's all going to be printed. So it's printed out. They can use it how they want, you know, because... When you're mixing in Atmos, you got a vocal track, and then you have a reverb on that track. It, it, it's all in stereo, and it's all in front. So common practice is to take that reverb and move it back in the room. You get depth that way. It sounds better. And that's it. Now, once you get all that done, and everything's like you want it, and, and sometimes you might not want to send them the drum sub and the slam. You might want to just, you know, you might just want to send them the individuals. It depends on what the person wants, but this way you got it all. It's all done in one whack. This takes no time. It might take... It might take five minutes, ten minutes to render this out once you hit commit. It's not a big deal. Main thing is you got to remember to get rid of that two mix, get rid of all that stuff because it, that does cause problems. And that's it. Now, once you got that, then the next thing I always tell people to do is come in to come down to where it says, let's see if I can find it real quick here, export, and you're going to export your tracks, selected tracks as a new session. Okay, when you click that, it's going to come here, and you're obviously going to want to save audio files. Selected tracks only. Make sure it's at 4824, comply with Dolby Atmos, in case it was cut at a different sample rate. And you hit OK. And then it saves that, and that session is what you deliver to the engineer. And if you've consolidated all, all the way back to zero, then they have the option of either coming in and importing just the audio tracks if they want, or if... They're digging your color coding and all the stuff that you do. They import the session into their template. Um, and it's just like that. It's, there's no issues, um, no worries about missing tracks and all the different things that happen. You wouldn't believe it. I've, I've received stems before missing the lead vocal. Tough one to do there. So, so I hope that helps. Um, I know guys have spent, you know, one song is taking them 20, 30 hours to do, and that's because they're taking each individual track and printing it, running it all the way through the song, and then going to the next track and going to the next track. There's no need to do that. Just highlight the ones, you know, that you're going you're gonna to print, commit them, and go. Get rid of the stuff that you don't need. Uh, make sure you turn all the crap off the two bus um, before you start the process. Make sure you're 2448. That's about it, guys. It's not that hard. It ain't rocket science. So if you got any questions, shoot me. You know, I'm sure I missed something, but we'll be happy to answer any questions down below. And remember to ring the bell, subscribe, and we'll keep bringing you this kind of stuff. Hope it helps. Peace. Oh, oh.